All right, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. I already recorded this video like twice or recorded this audio twice and there are times to try them. So what is up, y'all? I see two times and I'm back for another video. Today, we're gonna be talking about my crazy edible experience. And yeah, man, I don't wanna waste your guys' this time. So let's just get straight into the video. So, you know, it actually takes place on this day two years ago. So, yeah man the setting gonna be at the homie monte's house if you guys remember monte from the vlogs yeah that's where it all takes place the homies of monte and alan those are my guys from high school those are my homies you know monte not really as close but that's my guy and alan you know that's my brother ride or die type shit but yeah it was it was just like a normal day pretty much just me putting in that promotion work for trust me i won't fall it was the release day of it and happy two years to that i took that project down since but yeah i just wanted to get that out of the way but yeah man i was just putting in that promotion work for trust me i won't fall and luca just making sure i got the streams up making sure everything was all right and just going smooth so yeah the day was just progressing and just a normal friday i was just hanging out with my brother BS and as usual and I, if I remember correctly I got a text from Alan and he was like huh hey bro why don't you come over and I was like well you know what it is the weekend I am not really doing anything I'm obviously not gonna go back and work on new music because I just dropped the project I'm here to just celebrate and chill so I was like you know what fuck it might as well clear it through, get everything smoothed out, clear out my plans, go hang out with the homies. And that's what I did. Made sure I got that all right, and yep, it was all good. And next thing you know, showed up to Monte's. Homie, Monte was already slumped on the couch. And uh, I was just like laughing, like, bro, I'm kind of not surprised as Monte. And uh, homie Alan was just like, bro, get up, hurry up. Homie Icy showed up, like, what are you doing sleeping still? And yeah, he kind of just, just rolled over. And I was like, all right then, bro. I see how it is. And so we kind of just looked at each other. And we was like, what up, bro? What's good? What's up with you? You know, kind of caught up a little bit. And then I was like, hey, just to get this out of the way with you, bro, I'm not going to try and smoke that much. I'm just here to chill. I'll hit the dab pen a few times, you know, but I don't want to get stoned out of this world, you know. But boy, I was in for an experience because literally moments after Alan would give me this edible and it was this nerd ropes candy. And I thought, you know what? Fuck it. I already know what it is. It's an edible it's alan giving me this too keep that in mind so i was like what is this an edible and he was like he kind of just looked at me and i was like what am i a bitch so i just grabbed the candy and ate it and i remember after eating it i was like bro there's this aftertaste that just won't go away that shit's lingering bro i need something to drink right away like honestly i didn't come prepared I didn't bring nothing, no drinks, no snacks for me, no nothing. I just showed up, it's cool. And I didn't even mention this, but at the time, I didn't really smoke, if ever. Sure, if you had the pen, I would hit it or something, but I wasn't into like smoking like I am now. So I had a pretty low tolerance. So pretty much I was just complaining about the aftertaste and asking for a drink. Monte comes and pulls out some tap water and I'm like, bro, nah, this ain't hitting. I'm sorry, bro. We got to go like get somewhere to eat. I'm starting to get the munchies. Let's, let's go before I just start freaking out and shit. All right. And he's like, all right, cool. Let's go, cool, bro. So we all dip out into Monte's car and we all just BS about how homie used to work at Taco Bell and he's like, yeah, bro, we better go back to work. And he's like, nah, bro. Like literally just 
joking about this man literally gassing him and literally throughout the ride i'm not gonna lie i was just out of my mind tripping looking around like holy fuck bro i'm pretty fucking high i don't know what's going on holy shit what's going on what's playing what's this what's over there holy shit look at my phone it's it's seven o'clock like that that's literally what i was thinking the whole time like damn this is the longest minute ever damn my eyes are glued to my phone <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't believe I'm this high. But I'm kind of not surprised. It is. It was an edible that I took. And like I said, it was that 500 one. It was, I was just getting higher and higher as the minutes would go by. I remember once we got back, I was just thinking to myself like, all right, just, just act cool, just act normal. Be yourself, bro. Nothing wrong with it. And I, I, like I said, I was high out of my mind. So I walked out the car door, opened it, looked at the homie Alan who got out after me. And he was like, and I was just like smiling at him, cheesing like, what's up, bro? What up? <laughs> I just couldn't stop fucking cheesing. Couldn't stop laughing. It was just, <laughs> it was just that night. I just couldn't get high. I just got higher and higher as time went on. And like I said, we got that Taco Bell. We ate it, just munched on it with no remorse, no traces of it. And I was pretty much at this point, I was ready to doze off. I was just ready to go to bed, bro. I was just like, fuck, this is too much. I'm kind of just ready to lay down. It's that nice feeling when I'm just getting ready to go to sleep and act like nothing ever happened and next thing you know i hear the homie monte just being like bro come on move seats i was like yo what what do you want me to do are you serious and he's like yeah bro i'm just i just want to sit right there I was like all right then i guess and honestly i don't know why I didn't just stood my ground and just say hey I'm sitting here, go over there, bro, I'm not in the mood, because honestly, I was just stoned, just like, I don't know, I should have just told him to go over there, because at that point, my stomach just told me, like, bro, it's gotta go, <laughs> it's just, no, nah, this is not it, and I was just, I was so fucked up, bro, that I was just like, I didn't want to move. So as soon as I moved, my stomach gave me that signal that it was going to go up. And I don't recall moving to that seat. If I remember, I did for like a few seconds. And then I got up quick. And then I ran to the bathroom. And when I got into Monte's bathroom, bro, I was just, I just threw up. Literally. And I was just like, fuck, bro, what the fuck? Holy shit. This is just fucked up. Oh, fuck. And luckily, it didn't get on my shirt. It didn't get on my pants or jeans or my sneakers. And Alan and Monte were just looking at each other like, what the fuck? Are you good, bro? I was just like, yeah, bro, it's all good. Not, nothing to worry about. I just... You know, I just got a little too high. <laughs> and I don't know how I was able to say that with like a straight face or like just cracking jokes about it. We were all just like, it was just like at a moment where I was just like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> because obviously I wasn't prepared for that that night. I don't think they were prepared for me to have that kind of night. And I mean, it, it is what it is. I got that high and... I lived it up. I don't really regret it. I mean, shit happens. The only thing that got messy was my necklace and I cleaned that up. So it's good. And as I was sitting on the other couch, just due to this fuck out of this world, just ascending by the minute, I hear Monte on my left just go, 
Hey, I see, bro. Let's go. And I'm like, what the fuck? What? Let's go. We're going to the dispensary. We. Nintendo we? I, I just get up. I'm like, all right, I guess. I kind of just wanted to doze off here, but you know what? Fine. I'll get up. What am I, bitch? <laughs> so I get up, walk to the car, and sat down. Still, dude, I honestly don't really remember getting into the car, but I made it somehow, some way. And moments go by. I was just thinking of moments here and there was going on and i hear all right who wants to play the ox and i hear alan being like yo why don't we play some icy i'm on this like yo that's a good idea i see how you want to play your music bro i look up i'm like huh my music sure i guess and i just hear monte's mom just being like you got an iphone or an android what do you got an android or an iphone if you got an iphone i got the iphone uh aux i was like oh shit i got the iphone hands me the aux and all that i get my shit situated and like they said they want to hear the new project so i ended up just playing trust me i won't fall and the first song on there was luca so when the chorus hit I was just high as fuck thinking like, damn, who made this? Oh wait, me. Holy fuck, I made this. This is my song. I'm an artist. I make beats. I was just like, literally full life realization right there. Just, this is what I do, bro. Like, holy shit. <laughs> I, I don't know why I was thinking it. I honestly don't, but it came to a realization that this is what I wanted to do, or this is what I'm doing. I'm able to do it. And I'll never forget that chorus just playing throughout. Like, oh my God. It just literally, that was, that was a night. That was, that was a night. I'll tell you that. <laughs> so like I said, on the way there, I, as I was having those thoughts, they would kind of wander off into different directions and it would kind of be like here like oh these were my childhood homies these were my childhood friends growing up and then it would go on to my high school friends and be like oh this is the current circle i got now sure we may have not grown up growing up together like since kids but yeah we went through ups and downs these my brothers we locked in or something like that that's that was some bullshit i was thinking i was like bro what the hell's going on just thinking about the elementary life middle school high school all that shit just what we've been through i was just fucked up like god damn bro and as i was thinking this whenever i doze off and like close my eyes i would just get these like patterns going through like i don't really know how to explain it but it would just be these weird patterns just kind of meshing through like different colors of like i would say lighter shades of gray white maybe like hints of yellow just flashy type shit you know it was just not overall a great look if you closed your eyes so i really tried not to but at the same time i was just ascending so i would just go back to trying to close it so I kind of just had to deal with it. And once we got to the dispensary, they all got established in what they wanted. They asked me what I wanted. I didn't smoke, so I didn't really say anything. No, I didn't want anything. Can you give me a pen, bro? Like, no, what do I look like? I don't want you guys to buy me a pen. I don't have the money for anything, so nah, I'm good. <laughs> after, we all, after we got all that, we went back to Montes. Honestly, just stuff you don't really need to know on the way back i was like the same old shit after we got back though i was literally just thinking yep it's time to just find the nearest spot to lay down and 
go to sleep for the rest of the night because this is not it. So we walk in and see the nearest bed. And I'm like, all right, I think I'm just ready to go to bed. It's fucking late. It's like 11 o'clock now. So I guess the night was technically still young, but I, I was just ready to go to bed. I was just done. Wasn't ready for that night. Just. <laughs> I just wanted to get out of it real quick like so I laid down didn't really think of anything and just crashed for the night and if I woke up it was probably for a few seconds at the most and I went back to sleep so yeah I remember waking up at like 10 in the morning and I remember Monty waking up around the same time and just looking at me being like hmm here's a dad pin bro and was like, oh shit, wake and bake? I guess. Like, I, I I knew the term somehow, but I did it. I took a hit and just kind of went back to sleep. <laughs> so, slept for a few more hours, woke up, and was like, all right. Well, I think I'm just ready to go home. I mean, it was Saturday, but literally they i think they had shit planned so i just had to go home and luckily i didn't really know what i was going to do because as soon as i went into the house i was just thinking go lay down just lay down don't just forget about everything else <laughs> lay down and that's what i did i just laid down and i even remember that day going by really fast just laying in bed <laughs> And yeah, man, the aftermath of the edible experience was just a whole bunch of laying around. I mean, it was just, fuck, dude. I think I just got too high and took too much, bro. Just need to relax for the day and just calm down before I get back into my groove. And so that's what I did. I mean, would I do it again? Probably. I mean with my tolerance now yeah of course i could probably handle it better too i think it was that night was just a fun night as i remember it sure i did end up puking but didn't really get in the way of how good of a night i had because prior to that it was pretty good it was pretty fucking good i'll tell you that much and yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for my crazy edible story. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like because I definitely put a lot of effort into getting it out on the same day. I'm tired as hell. Trust me. So leave a like. This is my first commentary video. I'll be back with more in pretty soon. It's Ice Two Times. See you guys in the next video. Peace, y'all.